Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for Sign of Capricorn. Keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Capricorn. If you'd like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. I'll repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. You can also find my Etsy shop, my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon and Ko-Fi. Go support me on Ko-Fi, you have a level, so you can get my new deck. And if you'd like to make a donation, feel free to do so. I do appreciate your donations here. Alright, so Capricorn, you may be wondering, what's this? What is this new, what is this deck here, over here? Okay, well, let me show you that, Capricorn. Alright, see this deck? Alright, you see how cool this deck is? Alright, now, I made this deck. I've been working on it since the beginning of this year. I've invested a lot into this deck. I, I made it, I, I drew it, I made all the messages that come with it, all the meanings and everything. Um, Capricorn... It's a 54 card oracle deck. Now it is oracles, but it can also be used as tarot. Each card has its own meaning to it. Alright, its own meaning. Not normal tarot meaning. Um, but this deck is used for connecting and working with Egyptian gods and goddesses. The messages from them, how to work with them, how to connect them, and so on. If you're interested in this deck, me and my mom are going to be holding classes for it as well on... October 1st, alright, so you can go ahead and contact her for that, her channel name will be in the comments, alright, those of you, a lot of you already know her, so you already know how to contact her, how to get a hold of her, alright, Capricorn, so, let's see what Spirit's message is for you, what's coming towards you, what's happening for you. Number 40 with look in the mirror. Alright? So Spirit's telling you to look in the mirror. Do some reflection here. Let's have a look at this card. What is the deeper meaning to this card of looking in the mirror? Look deeply at the situation at hand. It is not a coming from outside of you. You have brought it forth as a mirror of some aspect of your soul. Knowing this, how can you shift it in a way that is empowering to you? And that brings about the best possible outcome for all concerned. Alright, for this. Take a minute to analyze your situation. Alright? You brought your situation here, Capricorn. Now, do some reflection here on how you can make this situation the best possible outcome for everyone concerned. All right, not just yourself, but everyone. All right, so that there, you know, there's no bad karmic ties. Just as you've manifested this situation, you also have the power to change it according to your will. While you may be tempted to blame fate, chance, or other people for challenges or hardships, when you don't take full responsibility for each and every condition in your life, you forfeit the power to create the positive changes you desire. Guilt and blame are words away from responsibility. In other words, drawing this card has nothing to do with feeling guilty or placing blame on yourself. In fact, guilt and blame have no place in this situation at all. Instead, you are being reminded to dwell in a state of calm neutrality as you recognize the outside world as a reflection of yourself. Next step is to learn, grow, and expand, and evolve it in precisely the way the situation requires. The presence of your inner reality in this external condition is not immediately apparent to you now. Know that it is your unconscious and subconscious beliefs, habits, and traits that are projected outward to create your life experience. You'll benefit from the shining light of consciousness into the shadows lurking under the surface of your awareness. Peer into the mirror of truth and look deeply at the aspects of yourself you may not have previously wanted to accept. Pay particular attention to the traits and others that especially hurt, annoy, or irritate you. Where may you be harboring similar or identical traits? For example, if you feel resentful towards another for not wanting to value your time, how can you set better boundaries and make time for the things you care about? Alright, look at this Capricorn. So things, even things, people that you come into contact with, things that are irritating you about them, you may also have those traits in yourself. Alright? It's asking you, how can you, how can you work on those things? If you feel mistrustful of another, in what ways have you been untrusting of your inner voice? Even though this sort of shadow work can appear intimidating, it is among the most liberating inner work that you can do. Just like a bright light disperses darkness, the radiance of your conscious attention can dissolve these old shadow stories and free you up to experience ever-expanding degrees of happiness, harmony, and success. Embody the message of this card by looking into a mirror and expressing love. 
Even if you feel silly or awkward, touch your heart, then look deeply into your own eyes and say, I love you, and then you say your name. Then touch your forehead and say it again. Repeat this, going back and forth between your heart and your forehead, until you believe yourself. Throughout the process, lovingly take note of any painful thought or feelings that come up. With immense respect for yourself and everyone concerned, become more conscious of your role in the situation. Align yourself with the deep, with the truth of your essence as love. Connect with your heart's deepest desires to embody, serve, see, and be love. Once you do this, everything will immediately change for the better. Okay, so, Capricorn, that is a message for you. Now let's get some runes and charms yourself. We have Mars, all right, so you can, you're connected with Mars, Capricorn. Mars is, you know, it's Aries' ruling planet, it's also Scorpio's ruling planet. Mars is the planet of action, desire, passion, okay? We have a rose. Rose can be for the heart chakra, opening that up. We have Hathor, okay? We have this dragon, the dragon can be power, so it does feel like you are emerging into your power, especially with Mars being there. All right, we also have the, we have the rainbow on it. it, can be the rainbow bridge, you're connected with the other side. And this moth girl, what you're connecting to. So you're connecting with the moth. The moth is like psychic abilities, psychic gifts. All right, because it's connected with the moon. And this is a spiritual initiation that you're going through. All right, Capricorn. So that's all I have for you. Like I said, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Also go on my Etsy shop. Go on there, go buy something. Really appreciate that. And like I said about these cards over here, and if you want to see more content, if you like, subscribe. Bye, guys.